Okay. Okay. So we're here in El Agrado in Armenia. It's a research farm where they research how to produce coffee, uh, how to plant coffee, how to uh, process coffee, how to dry coffee, and so on. And the whole point of the, uh, this farm is to teach growers in the area, but also around Colombia, how to improve the quality of their cup. But they're not only teaching uh, the agricultural aspects of it, they're also teaching how coffee is prepared in coffee shops in Colombia and also in, in Norway and in the US. So the farmers are actually able to, to taste their own product uh, and to see how uh, what the difference is in the cup because they're actually not producing seeds that uh, many farmers think, they're producing cups of coffee. Uh, we just met a group here of, uh, of farmers from Kauka who came all the way to, to learn how uh, they can improve their, their coffee quality. And one of the things that I found that very interesting is that some of them actually have education. We met an architect who, uh, whose father just died, so she decided to quit architecture and, uh, and to become a farmer again. And uh, we discussed yesterday about this, that it's a problem, uh, it might be a problem, that since the coffee growers are getting a lot of uh, uh, support from the FNC to, to get education for their kids and everything, uh, maybe in the future they won't become farmers because they are doctors and policemen and so on. But we also saw her niece, uh, who were quite young, uh, not <laughs> old enough to run a farm yet, but she wanted to uh, be here to learn about coffee because she wants to become a farmer in the future. And I find that uh, that's very good for, uh, for coffee's future. So, we'll spend the rest of the day uh, learning. Uh, we're going to taste some different defects from 